This is the MMA Latest Asia Podcast! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second episode of MMA Latest Asia Podcast. And of course, uh, we always have a special guest for you. Uh, back then in episode 1, we had Reese McLaren and it was awesome. And now we have another special guest. But before I introduce our special guest, my partner in crime first, Bramono Lunardi. How are you, Bram? Very good, Wadi. How are you? I believe your your spirits has been up because we just watched uh, 1FC Singapore. And now, for our very special guest, the undefeated MMA fighter in all promotions that he has fought for in one championship, Mr. Herbert Burns. Herbert, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good, Howard. I'm good. You know, good to everyone that's at home. Listen to us. going to be a... Good speaking to you guys. So let's 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 start. All right, uh, Mr. Buzz. Before we start with round one, can we have a short introduction about yourself? I'm like I'm a mixed martial artist. I'm a my background is BJJ. I achieved like a lot of I had a lot of achievements on BJJ. I became like a nanogi. BJJ World Champion, I'm many times, like four times Brazilian National No Gi World Cha- No Gi Champion, National Champion, Pan American Champion, South American Champion, Pan Asian Champion, BJJ Black Belt. Now when, when I when I became do MMA, start first I start teaching MMA guys like I the most famous guys I thought was Alexander Gustafsson and then after Victor Belfort. Then I became to do my my MMA career. I fought once in here in Rio. It was my debut. I submit my opponents in 23 seconds. And then after that, I debut one FC. It was a 44 seconds. That's why I got the nickname, the Blades, because I used to burn my opponents earlier. And then <laughs> after that, I got I got I got a few wins. Saying I was supposed to fight for the title, but we we are waiting still. All right, a um, long list of accomplishments. I can go on and on. But before we start off the podcast officially, I will like just tell the rules. Um, it's going to go as as uh, similar to an MMA fight, basically three rounds. But the first minute, if we have a special guest, it will be ten minutes for the first round, five minutes for second round and the third round. And uh, there will be a clapper, uh, ten seconds before the round ends. It's me banging the table just like this. And of course, we have the air horn, which will sound off in uh, which will sound off at the end of the round. So. First round will be questions uh, directed to Mr. Herbert Burns. So before I start off that round, uh, I would like to just start off by saying first, I remember reading an MMA fighting article about you. You was you were saying that if not for um, one championship, you probably uh, end your career in just 37 seconds because that's what happened in your first fight, and you won very fast and there was no one in Brazil that wanted to fight you uh, that wanted to fight you so one championship grabbed you and here you are six and zero but you have not fought for very long time so Mr. Bourbon maybe you can start off for the first round let's get it on okay yeah it was my first fight was 23 seconds and I got the submission really quickly but after that it was very hard to get a fight like the promotions, like I was well known here in Brazil, so people didn't want to get to fight me. I got offer fights, few fights, but we're all in the lightweight division. I'm a featherweight, I'm a small, I'm not even big for featherweight. And like, we just like last minute fights and we didn't get any team. We didn't have like even a weird case that. We get a fight. It was in a in a in a event that was going to pass on, on live on Brazil TV, so it was a okay exposure. Going to be the Come event. My fight was going to be. So we did the face off. I did the whole camp. I trained hard. Like we face off, and the next day we went to do the event. And the fighter were there. The public was there, but the organization wasn't there. They didn't have it. <laughs> They even have a cage, man. So we were like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> was everyone there? The public was there? The f- Did they have a cage? Okay, say, so what the... Okay, okay. Let, let, let me get this straight. Means people did 
pay for the tickets, but when they go into the arena, yes. there wasn't a cage. Exactly. Oh my God. And we didn't get paid, man. <laughs> after face off. Oh God. After, <laughs> man, that's like after after that event, I got like I, I, I like I said, man, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I can only like if I can fight BJJ and teach the guys, but why I'm doing that? I like I got like really dismotivated, and like one week one week after, I receive a call from from Mister Sitio Tong, and I I sang I I had a contract for NFC, but did expire because I didn't fought. I was supposed to fight on the first show, mm -hmm. but they didn't got an opponent for me. Mm -hmm. My debut was going to be in 1FC, but it didn't happen. So my second fight, I got a new contract. And then after, one week after, the did not fight. So okay. that's what happened. Um, okay, before we go on to what happened after that. Uh, actually, before that, um, I understand that your brother is a UFC fighter, Gilbert Burns. And it was kind of surprising that with such an influ influential fighter, why did you choose the one championship path when probably your your brother could have tried to get you to the UFC path? Like we, me and my brother, we trained together. We always trained together, but I think like at the time that I was offered the 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 one championship deal it was a good deal. My brother wasn't in the UFC yet. Mm -hmm. He was fighting for for. Okay, promotions in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was going to sign with Legacy. Uh, I said. So I, so I prefer that time. One championship was a bigger promotion than Legacy. It's a big promotion than Legacy. So I think, no, I'm gonna be settled down one championship, fight, get the belt, and then if he have a, a good offer, then I could go to UFC. But didn't happen this way. My brother got into UFC before. That's okay. I'm happy for my path. I didn't lose yet. All my fights, I put. I believe I put a good show for the fans. Hey, like I just can control. I just focus on what I can control. I can control my training. If I have a fight schedule, that's what I can control. The outside part, I try to do my best and let my manager do with it now. So just hope I will be. Hopefully, I'll be back soon on the cage, like on the on December or in January, and I will put a, a good show and get more more wins. Oh, we would love to see you fight again. All right, I'll push the questions now to Bram now. Bram, your time to drill Herbert wins. Well, uh, so just coming back to that, uh, Herbert. The uh, so your game plan was actually your initial game plan was actually to uh, like like your brother going from Legacy to UFC. Is that is to actually you uh, go to one FC and then take a step up back to UFC at the time, at least at the time when you sign up with one FC. Like I didn't I like I signed with the with the one FC and my goal was to become the champion. If, I, if when I achieve that goal, if mm -hmm. UFC come with a bigger with a bigger if a big uh, like, big money proposal, I could think about. But yeah, my goal was to when I sang one FC, my goal was to become the champion, and what that's what I'm chasing now. Mm. Did you, when you did you five years ago? Or probably what was it? Five years ago that you signed up with one one championship. No, I think the first time. Less than, no, my my first sign was was in 2011. Was mm -hmm. for the first show. Mm -hmm. Did it happen? And then I signed again in 2013. Did you did you actually foresee that uh, uh, that one championship will be as what it is now, or do you expect it to to expect it to be bigger? I would expect to be bigger, a little that, bigger. Mm -hmm. They 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 like they grow up, they grow fast, but mm -hmm. I think like they should. They they would I believe that they would be like expanding more events outside Asia. That's what I believe. Mm. So what you're trying to say is that uh, you feel that one championship does not hold enough events. They hold events, but they hold mostly on the events in Asia. And like they expand to Dubai, I fought there. I expect they keep doing the events there and some events outside, and that didn't happen. They, they focus on Asia again. What's not wrong? They should like 
it's the strongest region like and they should like put most of the events there but if they want to grow they they need to put some events outside there they have plans now they say that they want to go to other parts of asia not just the southeast of asia they want to go to australia and that they want to go to japan so let's see let's see how it goes hope how they will expand more All right, Bram, you want to mm. go to the t- critical part of the question, which everyone, I think, want to know now? No, I'll let, I'll let you do that, buddy. All right, okay then. Everyone wants to know, what is holding one championship from giving you a title fight? It has been too long. Freaking Marat have gone through two opponents, had a rematch with Jadamba, and Herbert Burns is still on the sideline. Herbert Burns is not injured. Herbert Burns is ready to fight. You have called out... Marat for so many times in so many mainstream what's happening man like what's happening can you explain to us that's a good question excellent question still i want to know too what's happening i'm not the right one so you guys can ask that if i know what happened i would resolve it if it has a problem if i knew it Is that, like, was there any I, any Any conflicts between you and the one championship breast? Like, was there any confrontation that led it to happen like this? Like, you know, in the UFC, if if somebody somebody uh, goes wrong with Dana White, then Dana will be like, you're not fighting anymore. I don't care. You know, that kind of thing. Is, is that what happened? Like, I, that never happened. But if that happened, like, they should be professional. They need to... That didn't happen. Just... Clear on that. I didn't have any confrontation. I believe I'm a nice guy. I have no problems. When I left to evolve, I left in a good terms with everyone. Okay, I spoke for everyone. I made it clear that uh, what I was choosing, why I wasn't going, to, why I was going to leave. I want to focus on my MMA career. I want to become world champion, be the best of the world, because I know I have potential for that. I have trained with so many high level guys, and my my result speaks for itself and i didn't want to teach because if i teach i would divide my my focus and i don't want to do that i just want to focus on training i did the fight uh, against timofey without uh, like teaching it was only training and it was uh that just showed to me that it was a uh, the right choice i get, i did he was a high level opponent and i dominated him on the first round And after that, man, I've been calling Marat many times. Like, finally, he replied. And he said, no, let's fight. Let's do it. So, okay, we are going to do it. But, like, one FC bring your quota from all the organization. Like, I didn't understand. Like, I pushed my manager, Gilberto Faria. is mm-hmm. the same manager of Jacare. He pushed Matt Hillman, Victor Cui. He called them so many times. And, like... No, no clear answer from there. No, conf- no. I never got like till September till now any bout contract. I didn't got any bout contract. Okay. I'm ready to fight. I but, hopefully, hopefully I, I will fight before the end of the year. That's my goal now. Mm-hmm. But it's it's. Uh, I mean, from from a promoter's point of view, aren't they running out of stories now? Now that there's. Jadamba, uh, J- uh, Jadamba and Marat uh, rematch is already done. Uh, Marat win even more convincingly than before. There, is there going to be any, a rematch for uh, with Timofey? No, Timofey just lost. So what? El- what are el- op- the options you have? Uh, sorry, what other options do they have rather than putting you in? They didn't have any options before. That's what I believe. Like even if they bring your quarter, what's the, the option? They didn't. Nobody understood that your quarter's not. Even- He's not, he's not even famous. He's not mm-hmm. famous. Nobody knows him. Who the hell is your cotton? No disrespect for him. He achieved a lot. He has a lot of fights on Japan, but outside Japan, I didn't know who was he. Like, <laughs> All right. The round and everybody was surprised for that, but they didn't have any any options. I was ready to fight. I was mm-hmm. I was not happy for that choice. I'm still not happy because I have five wings streak. So nobody had that in the division. The opponents I fought, they were meatballs. They were tough opponents. So <laughs> meatballs. Let's see. <laughs> All right. I just don't like to say that round one is over, but of course, 
this thing is not settled yet. We gotta settle this until I can get a proper answer until I get to round two because I'm not satisfied. First and foremost, like you said, uh, 1FC does not have an option. I'm telling you, 1FC will always have an option. There are plenty of guys that's probably 10 and 1 or 10 and 2 that has never fought in one championship and probably will face Marat for the title. And I believe it will make you, Mr. Burbans, very pissed off. It's like it seems that everything is within out of your control. You have pushed your manager, they give no, they keep saying no. What's next, man? If they, if if the next thing happens and Marat is not fighting you and is fighting someone else who is probably a debut, what are you gonna do? They will give me mixed balls to him. I'm gonna wait to see what's gonna happen. They can't keep me fight forever. I have a contract has expiry date. They don't want me to fight. The contract will expire. All right. When will it expire? At least. So you are trying to say that you will wait out until it expires. I like I, I like the promotion. I fight. Uh, oh, like I like the fans. I have nothing like what I've seen besides putting me out for one year. Like they were they were good. Like I wasn't able to get a fight, and I got there and put my career on track again. I'm grateful to that, but. I want what I want, and they can't hold me that. If they can't give it to me, the contract will expire. It will expire next year, like middle of the year. So if it, if I don't fight, I will wait out. I have nothing. I don't need to go anywhere. I have it, like it. <laughs> right, right. I have a proposal from all the events, but let's see. I, I have a contract for NFC. I don't want to like to go to do anything legal because there's a need. Speaking, we can resolve these issues. All right, I if think has I'm satisfied. I've, I've, I'm satisfied with the answer. How about you, Bram? You have any last questions for Mr. Burns? Well, uh, one one thing that kept bothering me about the uh, one uh, about the uh, about why all the why well, you're not getting fights is that was. Do you think that your your, your submission? Uh, your submission wrestling uh, fight in Indonesia with, on the I, on IBC card, like uh, I think it was what 2015, that had any yes. had any had had any effect on the on on the on the attitude toward you? No, I, I don't. No, de definitely not. Like I'm definitely not. Like before fight, I let everyone from one championship know that was going to fight. I didn't ask permission because I don't need to ask permission. I can do whatever mm -hmm. I want outside MMA. They, they mm -hmm. can't hold me. But they were really happy when I said, yeah, I'm going to fight for... Oh, seriously? Everyone was like really excited. That's good. That's good for the event because both of you guys are one FC, one FC fighter. That will be good if you guys fighting. Everyone mm -hmm. was really happy about it. I, don't, I definitely... If you, like that didn't didn't do anything. Maybe it was my submission grappling is too good and they don't have no one to beat me. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's that. <laughs> Not All right. That. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We, I do believe, I do believe your submission grappling is really too good. Uh, we have seen you so many times and you just blew me away with your uh, grappling on the mat in MMA, basically. 